one myself. I'm pretty proud of it. But happy Potter's Day, everybody! Milo, it's Father's Day, not Potter's Day. Oh, are, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, how embarrassing. I pulled out all these pots for nothing. Okay, well, fathers, if you'd like a pot, you can come on down. Oh, to Milo, the your mom says that you're you're not allowed to give away her pots. Oh man. Well, in that case, happy Father's Day, fellas. Have fun grilling in your underwear. Bye. <laughs> One day, an expert of the law stood up to test Jesus. He said, "What must I do to have eternal life?" Jesus answered him with a question. What does the law say? What do you think it means? The religious scholar said, It says we should love the Lord our God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourself. You're right, Jesus said. Ah, but who is my neighbor? The scholar asked smugly. In reply, Jesus told him a story. A Jewish man was going from Jerusalem to Jericho. Many of the people probably would have known the very road that Jesus was talking about. While he was on his way, he was attacked by a group of bandits. The bandits beat him up and stripped him of his clothes. They took everything he had. Then they left him for dead. It's likely that this was a fear any of them had in traveling this road. Bandits could hide behind large rocks and jump out to attack. But what would happen to the poor man left for dead on the side of the road? Then Jesus goes on. Luckily, a priest happened to be going down the same road. But when he saw the man, instead of helping him, he passed by to the other side of the road and continued on. Then along came a Levite, a special assistant to the priest. Surely he would help as he was supposed to be a man of God. But he too, after looking the man over, passed to the other side of the road and continued on. But a Samaritan, who was almost like an enemy, the Jews really didn't like Samaritans, came traveling along the same road. When he saw the hurting man, he had compassion on him. He climbed down off of his donkey. He cared for the man's wounds. He poured oil and bandaged him up. Then he set him on his own donkey and led him to an inn. There he gave the innkeeper two coins and told him to look after the man. He even said that if he had to spend more, he would pay the debt the next time he returned. After he finished, Jesus turned to the scholar and asked, Who was the neighbor in the story? The one who showed mercy. Hi, boys and girls. When Jesus tells us the story about the Good Samaritan, he shows us what compassion looks like. Do you know what compassion is? It's kind of a big word. I bet it's one you've heard before, but what does it really mean? Compassion is about feeling what someone else is feeling and then doing something to help. Maybe you and your friend are eating ice cream cones and she drops her ice cream cone on the ground. You might feel really sad for your friend. Compassion goes a little further than just feeling bad for her. Maybe you decide to share your ice cream so that your friend will be happy again. That's what compassion looks like, caring for others. In the Bible story Jesus tells, the Samaritan man is the one who helps. He feels bad for the man who was robbed and chooses to do something about it. He gets off his donkey and helps the hurt man the way he would have wanted someone to help him. With Jesus, we can be compassionate too. Let's pray today to have compassion of Jesus so we can love and care for people the way he does. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I just thank you so much for all these boys and girls. I pray that you would give them chances to show kindness and compassion. Lord, I just thank you so much for the kindness and compassion you showed us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey kids, it's Miss Shelley. This week's memory verse is from Ephesians 4.32, and it goes like this. Okay, repeat after me. Be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. Ephesians 4.32. Great job. Okay, let's do it again, all together this time. Are you ready? Okay, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. Ephesians 4.32. All right, nice job. This verse is such a great reminder. Just as God has forgiven us and been compassionate with us, we can be kind and compassionate to others, showing them the love of Christ.